What's up everybody, Jesse back here, and let me preface this, I had a badass intro before, I had a funny ass intro before, but as uh, things go, my food delivery called me, I had to stop the video, pause the video, stop recording, and go downstairs to get my food. So, sorry, uh, but <laughs> let's get this review going. We have here, not the Mafex Deadpool, we're actually going to call this one the fake, the Famex. Why? Because it's fake. It's a bootleg. But this is unlike any bootleg you will ever see, guys. Kind of like my uh, my Deku review that I have on the channel. This one is also a very very solid bootleg, man. Like I look at this dude. Like he is not loose at all. Like he's not like you don't see him. His like swinging back and forth that crazy. Like, even if I go really really hard, they're kind of static and it's just moving in a circle. Same thing goes for his his waist, as you can see. His joints are actually a lot smoother than uh, some figures that I have. Some, you know, Japanese imported figures. They're smoother, but they're not loose, which I definitely, definitely enjoy. As you can see, he can stand without any problems. Like, you see, like his arms are not going to flail down his head doesn't move uh the only thing the only thing I, I did notice is that his boot right here it's stuck in that position but other than that no problems whatsoever i did change out the head and the hands because i actually purchased this guy off of eBay with the intention to use him for parts, but this guy is actually so cool. I might, I'm gonna keep him just as is. Just probably give him a quick repaint to match my X Force uh, Wolverine that I'm working on because I think it's gonna be pretty badass. And as you can see, here we have the packaging. It says Mafex there. Now I don't know if this is a legit Mafex box just a bootleg figure but I can tell you that I paid $15 for this figure so it is damn sure not a real Mafex and this is honestly the only Mafex figure uh, bootleg that I have so I'm not sure on their quality other uh, Mafex qualities and or other uh, bootlegs because I know obviously the DBZ bootlegs they don't have the Toei animation sticker on there and all that stuff, and the Rebel type bootlegs don't have the the Marvel sign on it. Actually, maybe maybe on the real Mafex one, he might have a Marvel sign somewhere, kind of like uh, Wolverine's uh, box does. So, yeah, yeah, probably that's probably what it is. Their Marvel sticker somewhere on the top there, like uh, my Mafex Spider-Man and Mafex Wolverines have. But let's take a look at his accessories. It, Cause I have seen some reviews on the bootleg Spider-Man and those are really great quality as well. So the only thing I did on this guy was just remove him out of the box and I noticed that he was really, really fucking good. So I was like, fuck that, I'm gonna keep this guy. He's not a loose mess, so why would I even mess with it? So here we have another head. This is a base uh, Deadpool head. Very nice sculpt work, very nice paint job. You had the little pointy there. You can see the little seam work for the mask and you see ears indented in there. It's pretty sweet. I dig it, I like it. And this is more um, the squinty eye Deadpool. There's a little paint blemish right there, but it's all right. Oh, on the side there as well. See the camera picking that up, yep. So it looks like the head that I got on him currently is the only one that I actually has a really good uh, paint job and also the base one. <clears throat> For hands, he comes with a bunch of hands. It comes with fisted hands. You guys see here, it comes with the pa on the packaging. You have um, gr wide open hands, like posing hands. And this one right here actually does have some paint splotching. I believe this is thumbs up hands. Yeah, got thumbs up hands. open palm hands with some paint defects right there on the palm the sculpture 
but the scope work on this guy is actually really nice man obviously some some paint scuffs here and there but like i said i'm gonna repaint him anyway to match my x-force wolverine so yeah got some you know gun pointing hands got some hands for the katanas and guns to hold some uh these are you know trigger finger hands to hold guns but he oops he doesn't come with guns so that's kind of uh kind of whack I honestly think that's one reason why I didn't want to pick up the actual Mafex figure when it first came out was because he didn't have any guns. What kind of Deadpool doesn't come with guns? I'm having trouble with this right here. Don't know how flimsy these would be. But here we have his katanas. Really good, really good paint job on the silver. And on the hilt, the handle. That don't look too bad. That that red the red uh hilt there in between the blacks. It's actually really nice, really clean, surprisingly enough. It does come with these right here to put on them. Obviously these come out. Now this is one of the things I hate the most with a lot of figures nowadays. You can't slide in the you know, their weapons into holsters you know with guns or scabbards with swords and all that other stuff that's a giant pet peeve of mine what's the point of having all these great accessories if you know you can't hold on to them so that's always always been my issue um yeah i don't know how you would actually put this on probably just slip it right on them we're gonna try that right now <clears throat> like I said, I I haven't even seen a review of the real Mafex Deadpool, so I don't know how hard or easy this would be on the real one. But I can tell you, it ain't that hard on this one. I don't know if this is supposed to move, but on mine it is moving a little bit. <clears throat> so here we go. That's pretty much how that looks on there not real big fan of that so I'm definitely not gonna have them posed with that I feel like they sit a little too high on them and this is kind of loose on there so it's quite annoying so for review purposes we're just gonna take this off <clears throat> and that pretty much covers the accessories take a look at articulation on this guy like I said there is real smooth so his head moves up and down on that ball peg right there nothing crazy his neck got a neck joint in there which actually on my figure doesn't really move up and down that much but it still allows the head to go forward quite a bit and up quite a bit which is pretty pretty good head moves side to side no problem whatsoever got these nice butterfly cut joints in here which allow <clears throat> the shoulders to move in and out let's see we'll see how good that comes up you got the shoulder joints bicep wrist and the hands can do a whole bunch of movement As you guys can see there this guy's not loose at all see how far he can go out ah. kind of force that one on there hmm I wonder if he if this guy has the same issue that a lot of people were having with the the real uh, Wolverine or his biceps fall off I actually never had that issue but yeah oh no it was just me actually putting pressure on that joint so it popped out hmm it's good to know but no, this dude's actually pretty solid. Okay. I see you, bootleg. I see you. So his shoulders go out that far. Now let's see how far in these joints will allow me to. That's pretty that's pretty good, man. Look at that. Do some Dante 
Devil May Cry shooting. Let's see if we can get some, uh, do some Wolverine, some Wolverine, uh, crossed arms, make him cross his arms, a whole bunch of stuff. So really good movement and articulation from a bootleg. And like I said, they're all, it's not stiff. It's not super stiff where you hear it creaking is about to fall off and it's definitely not loose. Torso here, we have that abdominal area that moves up and down. Can you pull it up a little bit? Let's see. No, it doesn't pull up. So it crunches around that far and that far up. Waist as well at the bottom, same kind of thing. Can twist around that far or that far. Can actually go all the way around, but if you do so, you might pop this off. While this does also pop off to change out the pieces for the belt. Some more stuff. I think all these pouches are articulated. Yes, they are. Check that out. Nice little hinges there. Does this one too? Yeah, all of them. Great posing options. It's pretty badass. Legs move up that far. You can go out that far. Once you're there, the joint doesn't really allow for much of a swivel, but you can swivel it that far. They do have the drop down hinge, so you could probably get it. Eh, can't get it much farther because the belt right here, the strap on his leg. But with this leg, you can. Pretty sweet. Got double joint knees. Works pretty good. Got awesome ankle articulation. Can move it all the way around. Can pivot as well. Uh, toe joint is stuck. So that ain't going to work. So yeah. But overall, man, it's a great quality figure. Great quality. I can't say nothing bad about him, to be honest with you. Um, you know, if it was if it was a bad, if it was a bad figure. I'd definitely, I'd tell you guys to stay away. But listen, for fifteen bucks, you can't beat this, man. I'll tell you right now, fifteen bucks, you cannot beat this. You know, I've already switched some hands out while playing with this guy. Um, also did notice something right now. Give me a sec. Let me put this. Hmm, can I not use, can I not use all these hands, only specific hands, would be great to see this on camera so we can know what hands won't work. So from the looks of it, I'm having some issues with the thumbs up hand, which kind of blows because that's kind of what I wanted to have him posing right now, although his fist's his hand worked good. These hands right here worked pretty good. I don't understand. Also, I did just notice that. The hell is that on my finger? It came from the figure. But what the hell is that? Is that like ink or paint coming off of this guy? I got it from this. Hmm, that's so weird. Definitely got it while handling this. It was like a powder coating on, on something. Give me one second here. All right, guys, I got the fingers all where they needed to be. I got the hand on that, uh, on the arm joint. So it wasn't really a big issue. I just needed to uh, finagle a little bit. Needed to, the joint, what it was is that the joint was actually uh, moving quite while I was trying to put it in there. So I figured that, oh shit, maybe the hole doesn't work. But no, it works just fine. Tried all the other hands. I have no issues with the other hands. So yeah, this is definitely, I'm telling you guys right now, go on eBay and check this guy out. If you missed the other, if you missed the, you know, the actual release. Because with 15 bucks, you cannot go wrong with this guy. 
so yeah let me know, let me know what you guys think let me know how he stacks up with the original mafex if you actually have that one but yeah this is pretty badass I, i'm fucking happy with this guy he doesn't he's not loose anywhere um articulation is all there there's nothing stiff it feels like it's gonna pop off on me while i'm actually moving it um you guys saw his um his right arm actually popped off while i was moving it but that's because i put pressure on that joint because i was trying to extend his uh, shoulders out but i was putting pressure on that joint but once i actually moved it from the shoulders it didn't move at all and uh, i've actually been posing this guy all day since i got him in the morning and never had anything like that happen so yeah let me know what you guys think this is the not mafex <laughs> deadpool uh so yeah later guys